Hello, I'm Tony Lloyd, and with me right now is Matthew Francis. He's a pretty talented author. I've just read his new book, which is called Rusky Beers, Bears and Babushkas. There's a lot of bees. Um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So welcome to the interview. Um, how did you start uh, writing books? Because And why did you start writing books? Because um, this is all about your experiences in Russia. Um, so tell me how it all started for you as a writer. I think it all started, Tony, because um, I've done a lot of work um, around the world in consultancy. And with all of these trips, I had a lot of experiences. And one of these trips was when I was recommended by a former girlfriend, actually, um, to go to Russia. Um, because Russia was going through a transformation um, as Putin had been in, in power for a few years and things had sort of calmed down a bit. Um, and Russia was doing, looking to do a lot with the West. And so I went over there on business to set up my own business and off the back of that um, had quite a lot of experiences. You certainly did according to the book as well. Um, so uh, you decided then obviously to write about your experiences and that's what made you into an author. A absolutely, absolutely, yes. Okay, is there anything you've left out that happened to you in Russia? <laughs> anything that you can't talk about? Uh, quite a bit, to be honest, yeah. because I mean, there's certain. But when you're in a culture like Russia, you inevitably get involved with some rather unsavoury characters, right. um, and some of those um, can get rather upset um, at times. Yeah. Um, and had I written about those people, I'm sure there could have been some some consequences. So there's some are left out, although in some of them um, they're left in, but the names have been changed, obviously. <laughs> Maybe you could do a sequel. I, I could well do, <laughs> yes. And um, uh, tell me uh, about what the book's about, if somebody's watching and listening to this. Uh, what's the book mm. about, very briefly? Very briefly, it's about the, the cross-cultural challenges facing a relatively a relatively naive Englishman who goes over to Russia um, at a pretty young age thinking I'm going to set up a business, I'm going to make a bit of money, I'm going to get some experience and it's all going to be pretty simple to do um, and discovering that actually it, it, it really wasn't. And so from that perspective it's about the, the trials, the tribulations of daily life but also running a business in Russia at a time when you know Russia was really in a transformational phase. Mm. And um, I suppose uh, those days are now lost because Russia has changed a lot and the problems with Ukraine and everywhere else, mm. you know, so you probably couldn't repeat that, could you? I wouldn't honestly want to go back to Russia now, no. considering the situation at the present time, no question at all. Yeah. Um, but I'd say it was the right time between 2002 and, and 2009 was the right time to be in mm. Russia and probably mm. the safest time mm. that there's been in Russia for the last, uh, during the last 30 years. I understand you're writing another book right now about another fairly dangerous place in the world. I mean, you know, <laughs> are, you, are you crazy, literally? <laughs> why, why are you putting yourself in danger? Well. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I've always had a rather sort of adventurous streak. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an only child. So from that perspective, I suppose there's, there's not so much responsibility to others in my life, which means that I can take more risks, perhaps. Mm. And so, but a lot of the places that I've done business or I advise companies to take their business into is in emerging markets. Right. And so... From a Russia perspective, mm. that was it was logical to uh, yeah. to, to go there, yeah. um, and then with the with with the book that I'm currently writing, which is about 
Colombia and taking powdered stimulant products of all things um, <laughs> into Colombia as opposed to the other way around. Um, yes, it does sound a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll look forward to that. We'll talk again when that one comes out. Yes. What advice would you give to somebody listening to this who is thinking about writing their first book? Um, not necessarily about um, you know, fairly risky exploits in, in, in uh, risky countries, but uh, about uh, other travel or other business things. What advice would you give to somebody thinking about doing it? I think the, the main thing is that what you've had, what experience you've had as an individual needs to be of interest to others and it needs to be written in such a way that it, um, it makes them um, intrigued, it makes them um, laugh, and it makes them really understand that this is uh, an unusual experience. And I think mm. it's, you know, it, it's not the run of the mill stuff that happens every day. No. It's got to be something that's a bit different, um, that the average reader wants to understand and wants to hear more about. Yeah. I think that's the thing. It's, it's, it's really adopting or finding a story that people want to read about as opposed to just having an interesting story that you think people want to read about. Yeah, yeah you have to <laughs> consider the audience. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. OK, well, um, Rusky Beers, Bears and Babushkas is available on Amazon. Um, but the best place to get it is on your website, which is matthewfrancisauthor.com. Matthew with two T's. Uh, thanks very much for talking to me. And um, we'll talk again when the Columbia book comes out. Fantastic. Thank so you, Matt. Cheers. Thank you very much.